What's up everybody? I'm back at it with these tree box braids to the flow. So if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to let me know down below in the comments because I can't wait to show y'all how I created this crazy hairstyle. So we're going to start off with my very last square that I have here left on my head. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you want to braid this from your roots. Now for most of my tree box braids, I actually crocheted it on my hair from beginning to end but I'm gonna show you a combination of doing both techniques make sure one piece of your hair is bigger than the other because you're going to feed in a smaller amount of braiding hair near the ends of your braids for each tree box braid you're going to need 15 pieces of these Brazilian lock curly pieces of hair so the hair is actually called free tress bulk Brazilian braiding hair and I got it in the color number one so now I'm going to show you how you want to begin braiding at the roots of your hair. We're taking this bigger section here and dividing it into a smaller and bigger piece. You wrap the smaller piece around the bigger piece so that way you can create three equal legs to your braid. Now I'm going to pinch one side of the braid, loop my fingers through, and pinch it with my index and thumb so that I can feed my real hair in the middle. So now when we begin braiding, you're gonna separate your hair into two pieces as you can see here. That way it keeps your braid very secure at the roots of your hair. So now I'm gonna grab that top piece I just separated out and I'm going to add it in between my index and thumb. I'm gonna make sure that as I braid, I'm being very firm at the roots of my hair so that way the braiding hair will actually touch my scalp as you can see here. I'm making sure that I'm smoothing my fingers and the hair as I braid so that I can add the second piece into a separate leg of the braid. So as I'm braiding my hair, I only have my real hair in two legs because I've divided my hair into two pieces. So one of the legs does not have my real hair and that's perfectly fine. It's going to be very firm and secure at the roots of your hair. So now as you're braiding, make sure you reinforce the tightness at the root by just tightening it up a little bit so that way it's very close. Now as you can see here, I started to struggle a little bit like, okay, which side do I put my finger in? So if y'all thought that was funny, let me know in the comments because sometimes I like to edit out those little quirks just to keep the tutorial all super perfect but I decided you know what just leave a couple flaws in there because we all make little blunders with our hair okay so now I'm almost at the point where I have to stop so I can begin adding my curly pieces I use my pinky finger to help me to decide exactly where to stop so that I can start adding my curly pieces these are called tree box braids this is kind of a mix between tree braids and box braids because I'm actually adding the pieces of hair throughout. It's also something similar to the goddess box braids. So let me know down below what style you think this mimics mostly. Goddess box braids or tree box braids, let me know. So now as I'm braiding, I'm making sure that I'm alternating which sides the curly pieces are left out. Sometimes I'm going to pull it from the middle leg or one of the side legs. Make sure that you're alternating when you're pulling out each curly piece so that way you don't have all of your curly pieces on one side of your braid. You want your braid to look pretty hidden once you're a little bit past your scalp and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So now I'm adding the next curly piece, making sure to braid at least three to four rotations before I pull out one of the curly pieces. Make sure that as you're braiding, you're continuing to smooth the hair down so that there's no kinks in the braiding hair. And when I actually begin braiding this hair, I use Konecalon braiding hair, so that way the texture will mimic more closely to my natural hair texture. Also, when adding each piece, be sure that you're switching sides multiple times. So you're gonna leave out a curly piece on the left or right side of the braid and you're also gonna leave one out in the middle. So now we're gonna use an alligator clip and we're going to clip the hairs out of the way so they don't fall back into the braid. You're also going to use this clip to help you to continue to braid at the very ends. And I'm gonna show you exactly how that looks once we reach the bottom of this braid. So with each piece you add, you're adding it to the middle leg as you can see here, and then you're just going to pull the pieces out once you've braided a couple of times. So every time you add a new piece, make sure to add it to the middle leg so that way it's very easy to secure it in place. You want to braid your hair about four to five times before you pull out your first curly piece. And then you want to braid another four to five times to pull out the second piece. That way your actual curly pieces are equal in distance while braiding your braid. 
And when you're doing this, you want to make sure that as you near closer and closer to the end of your braid, you braid a few more rotations. So instead of four to five rotations to then release a curly piece, you're going to braid anywhere from five to eight rotations before you release the next curly piece. You want most of the curly pieces to be upward on the hair instead of most of them being concentrated down below. And remember, when you're actually adding your curly pieces, you're going to need to do 15 pieces per braid. That means about about eight pieces is going to be added at the top of your braid and then for the second half of your braid you're gonna add seven pieces so as you can see here this is a cool little trick that you can do to help you to continue braiding going all the way down when your braid is getting longer when doing tree braids sometimes it actually looks like it's goddess box braids so let me know down below in the comments if you think this mostly resembles tree braids or goddess box braids if you want to see an individual tree braid tutorial that I've already done all you got to do is check out my previous video so I can show you how to do this style to make it a little bit more wearable because you know in this video I'm being kind of dramatic and braiding it down to the floor so if you want to wear your hair down to the floor you can but I suggest that more for everyday practical wearing your style you want to make sure you're braiding it about as long as the middle of your back to the top of your shoulders also, if you decide to use different curly pieces of hair, this will make this style look dramatically different. So let me know what other types of textures or curl patterns or even colors you wanna see. So as you can see here, I'm at the very end of my braid and this is how much space you wanna leave so that you can begin extending the length. Now, in order for these braids to reach the floor, all I had to do was add two layers of the braiding hair, meaning I just did two lengths. So that way it can reach all the way down. If you are shorter or taller than me, all you need to do is add or subtract more hair. So you may just need to cut the pack of braiding hair in half to extend the second half of your braid, or you may need to just leave it all intact and add a third to the bottom. So I'm literally stacking it twice so that it can touch the floor. And you're doing the same exact technique, making sure that you're braiding a couple of times and then releasing one of your curly pieces of hair. The curly piece of hair that I'm adding is called Brazilian Bulk free tress braiding hair and I got the color number one. This hair can also be used to do traditional crochet braids if you want to do a crochet hairstyle or you can simply add it onto your braids as you can see here to do individual tree braids or tree box braids or goddess braids. As you can see as I'm braiding that clip is coming in super handy because I can literally clip my hair onto it and now that we have about four inches of braiding hair left you're going to braid it going all the way down to the end without adding any more hair so you're gonna have about four inches of braiding hair with no curly pieces added and don't worry you're not going to see this because it's going to be totally hidden by your curls after braiding down to the ends and unhooking the clip this is how your individual tree box braid will look and as you can see that tail end is totally hidden inside the braid now take a look at the roots this is how the hair looks up close at the scalp once we begin our braid and this is how the complete braid looks now for the finishing touches I'm gonna add a little bit of styling jam to my edges now when wearing this style you're probably going to be wearing it down and if so you don't necessarily need to do this step but if you want to add a little you know razzle dazzle to this look then just put a little bit of edge control on your hairline and smooth with your fingers or an edge styling brush as you can see here So this is how one side of my edges look and we gotta finish the other side. So I'm just doing the same thing, applying a little bit of product so that way it won't feel as oily or greasy on my scalp. A little bit of product goes a long way, ladies. If you ever notice you have a white cast on your hairline when using edge control, that's probably because you're using too much or your hair could just be a little bit dry. So if you notice that white cast, what you should do is moisten your fingers with water, rub it along your hairline, and then when it starts to dry a little bit, begin adding a little bit of edge control and you won't see that white cast. So let me know if those tips were helpful for you down below. And by the way, I noticed y'all love watching my hair tutorials and some of you have actually never left a comment before. So show your girl some love for the first time. And let me know down below what you think of this crazy, creative, cool hairstyle. So as you can see here, this is how the finished result looks to my tree box braids look. 
So if y'all wanna see more tutorials like this and you found this so funny with all these scenes I created, let me know and I'll catch y'all in my very next video. And if you wanna see this style called box braids to the floor again, all you gotta do is check out my previous videos.